Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be giving you a review of the Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar. And uh, this is going to be aimed mostly at Nirvana fans and grunge fans. Um, mainly because I know a lot of people actually get this guitar for that kind of thing, the punk rock scene. Uh, although it is a really nice guitar for other genres such as blues, classic rock, that kind of stuff. So to begin with, this guitar is really awesome. I got the three-tone burst and it's beautiful as you can see. Um, I really, really like the way it feels. It's got great playability. It's amazing. The tuners also seem pretty solid. I haven't really had any problems with them. The bridge, uh, it sucks, I'll be honest. The bridge is not that great. If you get some Loctite and you put it on the screws, it's fine. The only reason it sucks is because the, uh, the individual saddles to adjust the height, they, they buzz a lot if you don't Loctite it. Uh, Loctite's like $5, so it's, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um... So, yeah, this guitar has been really, really awesome. Um, I'm basically going to give you guys a demo of it, and I'm going to go right now talk about the actual specs of the guitar. It is made out of bass wood, which is really cool. It's a solid body, and uh, it's, got, it's a short scale. It's got a 24-inch neck, um, 22 frets, medium jumbo. So the tuners, as I said, they're vintage tuners. Um, they're, pretty, they're pretty solid. I, I like them a lot. Um, they're actually, I prefer vintage tuners over regular tuners, actually. It's got a, a dual circuit trick thing going on, so here you can see you have the neck pickup and it's got its own uh, volume and tone. Uh, over here you can, if you don't have the neck on, you can have three different switches. You can have neck and bridge, which are the top and bottom. You can have those on and off, or a bass cut on and off, which is the third one. And the uh, it's got Seymour Duncan uh, pickups, or Duncan design rather. Um, I believe it's the JG101, um, and they're pretty cool. They sound great. And uh, here is the vintage style bridge, which, like I said, isn't that great. Um, and here is the non-locking vibrato, which is floating. Now, for this uh, demo, I'm going to be using Boss DS1 Distortion to get that kind of curt, grungy sound, you know? Uh, so you can see how the Jaguar sounds with that. And for the chorus, I'm going to be using this Black's Chorus pedal, which is pretty awesome. Um, it was super cheap. It was like $30, and it sounds pretty great in my opinion. So I would recommend getting this if you're looking for a chorus pedal. So without further ado, let's get into the demo, guys. Hey, guys. So there's one thing I forgot to mention, and that's that I have Guitar Rig 5, and that's what I'm going to be running my recording through. And I'm using a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier through a Marshall cabinet, which is actually what Kurt did. So these are the settings I'm using. If you'd like to get this kind of sound, um, go ahead and follow these settings. Um, and it's also got a tiny bit of reverb on it just to add some stereo sound. My strings are light top heavy bottom, so 0.10 to 0.52. I would recommend changing out these strings as the standard strings it comes with are 0.9s. And um, without further ado, let's go. I'm also a half step down.
Thank you.